Hello there, Aries, and welcome to your Oracle messages. I hope you guys are doing good out there. So Aries, let's go ahead and find out what your Oracle messages are and what you need to know right now about your current situation, okay? You know what? There's something about you guys having some type of heavy burden lifted off of your shoulders for a lot of you, Aries. Um, so just pay attention to the cycles and the rhythms of your own <clears throat> body and what's happening with you um, and your energy levels, but expect a miracle, okay, Aries? Right now, stay strong no matter what is going on. I feel a lot of you guys, um, Aries, are having to navigate yourself um, above a situation or just having to kind of go with the ebbs and flow of your own energy levels, your own emotions, your own cycles and seasons in life, okay? But Spirit is saying, whether you guys have verbally prayed for this or not, a wish, a dream, a prayer, it has been heard. And you are being answered, Aries. Ooh, this is really good. Let's see what else you need to know about your situation. I'm getting water sign coming through, Aries. So <clears throat> Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy is coming through. Move in. Oh, yes. Move in a new direction. Look at this. we got Traveler here. So... You know, some of you Aries, you might be finding yourself uh, doing adventures or traveling, but just know that you are a sacred traveler. Um, a lot of you are headed towards a new direction or some of you Aries don't be afraid to move in a new direction. Maybe some of you Aries are moving, okay? A new location, new environment, <clears throat> new community, new something is the way to go. And you know, with this traveler Aries, I'm actually getting the fool's card here, okay? which is your energy as well, okay? So I feel there's something about releasing the unnecessary right now, you know? Light, <clears throat> excuse me, lighten your load, simplify your life, declutter, okay? And expect a miracle. Ooh, see beyond the current situation, look at that, okay? Get your eyes off what you don't like seeing in your circumstances, your situation right now, and trust and have faith. You have to be able to see beyond the current situation. And the fact that this um, seer is you know, showing up is telling me a lot of you Aries are capable of doing this. You just gotta tap in, tune in, right? And have confidence in your own abilities as well. Not all can be revealed yet, but you can expect a miracle. What else? You know, Aries, I am getting Knight of Wands energy coming through too. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy is coming through. Yeah, adventure, see? Just more aligned with that Knight of Wands type of energy that I'm getting here. Yes, dare to be, dare to do things differently, right? Move in a new direction, do something different. Dare to do things differently. Don't do the same old, same old, right? Because you guys are going through the ebbs and flows of changes, and even with yourself. <clears throat> oh my goodness, look at this. Manifest your travel dreams. I hope you guys are. Oh my goodness, and look at the bottom there. Move to a new location. Yeah, Aries. Don't worry about how, when, what. Just be willing to move forward, okay? What else for Aries? Uh, feel loved and comforted. Wow, you got Mother Earth coming here. And look, it's cycles and rhythms. Wow, Aries, you guys really have the um, divine gift and ability to tap into Mother Earth energies. I hope you are really feeling the energies that she is bestowing on you, surrounding you with abundance in your life, comforting you, or moving and changing things so that you guys can uh, feel abundant and feel comfortable and comforted. Woo, you guys are really loved, Aries. I hope you honor and know that. What else for Aries? I am getting Empress energy, um, Aries. So Taurus, Libra energy coming through. There may be a strong mother influence right now that's at play for a lot of you Aries. 
But the most important thing right now is that you guys are feeling loved and comforted and doing things or surrounding yourself as much as possible in this energy. Oh, we're just talking about that. Wow, Mother Earth is talking to you, Aries. Connect, uh, excuse me, yeah, connect and ground yourself. I just added the connect. Um, find a sanctuary in nature and connect with the elementals. Ooh, so that you guys are feeling loved and comforted and not a worry or stress in your heart, in your mind. What else for Aries? <clears throat> Wow. Wow. Aries. Okay. Whoa. Do you guys? Oh my goodness. The Empress showed up, Aries. And that's so funny. I was picking up the Empress. So here's a divine counterpart, but let's not get into that too much. Let's get into you, Aries. This is, here you are. <laughs> so a lot of, some of you Aries, you may need to stay focused or do something right now um, for some of you areas that if you're feeling like things are getting out of control, you have the ability right now to get things under control. And the best way you guys are going to do that is being able to see beyond the situation. Okay. And being able to, um, for some of you guys, maybe take control of your emotions. Don't let your, your emotions get the best of you here or fight fears as you guys are, you know, headed towards this um, really solid situation for yourself, Aries. Okay. So this is about you guys feeling empowered, protected, and loved, nurtured. Whoa. Okay. Now there's a high probability of a lot of you Aries attracting or, you know, uh, something sustainable here with a divine counterpart. We got a mother and father figure here as well. Let's continue and see what else comes out for you, Aries. Oh my gosh, your intuition is really um, on point for a lot of you, Aries. It, there's something about you guys trusting the direction that you're going to going towards. This new direction is actually giving you guys prosperity here. Some of you, Aries, may <clears throat> you may resonate with. I think it's Cancer's reading, possibly, or is it Pisces? Oh, I don't know. But anyhow. <clears throat> I'm seeing Ace of Pentacles here, Aries, T uh, Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, some type of wise investment, something about you guys having um, uh, a prosperity, money in the future here. Your income is increasing, so manage your finances with love, no matter how much or how little you think you have. Remember, see beyond the current situation and just manage your finances with love and continue to move in a new direction. Some of you guys moving it into a new direction may cause a lot of you guys to um, have to uh, make changes in order to get things under control for yourself, get things organized, okay? And being prepared. I mean, look at this Aries. The emperor is all about building, creating prosperity and sustaining that. The other thing that I want to say for a lot of you Aries too is, especially the ones that are moving and changing, you know, um, in that new direction or relocating or something that you, you, you know, there's a guardian here that is, you know, spirit, God, Jesus, the angels is telling you and your guardian angel is telling you, you know, that your possessions, your loved ones are all protected, including you, of course. What else for Aries? Passion. Do what excites you. See, it was getting that Knight of Wands energy here. So we got more fire, um, fire sign energy coming uh, through with this card here. Get fired up about your life. Increase your energy levels. Okay, so make sure you guys are taking time to unplug, unwind, recharge. Okay, try to pay attention to things that may uh, drain you or, you know, just maybe exert your energy more than necessary. Some of you guys release yourself, not all of you, but some of you guys may need to release yourself from uh, worrying or thinking too much about uh, finances right now, okay? 
just love and honor where you're at and don't focus uh, focus on that too much just a, a, a surrender okay because you're coming into prosperity coming into a situation where a lot of you guys you will feel if you don't feel like it yet that you got your life under control for the most part increase your energy levels some of you guys be willing to do things that um, give you energy okay take care of your body here right we've got nature we've got mother earth what else for aries I told you, look at this. I was just looking at this um, seer. Look, things cannot be revealed yet. Have patience. See beyond the current uh, situation, Aries. There's more going on than you realize. Ooh. What else for Aries? Okay, so I am the same as everybody with different challenges. We have this card of envy, Aries. So, you know, spirit is just saying things cannot be revealed yet. Have patience. Don't worry about what others have. Some of you guys, look at this. See beyond the current situation. Make sure you're not, you know, comparing yourself to others or envious of others for what they might have. Because Aries, you have your own unique things that are going on here. Okay, and, you know, again... <laughs> And I know a lot of you Aries know this already, but you know, what we, what people show on the outside is far different than what's going on in the inside, right? Oh my goodness. I forgot about this. This is just like driving me crazy. There we go. <laughs> All right. Right. So just don't pay attention to what other people are doing. Pay attention to what you're doing. Okay. Be in competition with your own self. Be better every single day than you were yesterday. Okay. And you won't go wrong. And there's nothing that you can't have that others have. Or did, I, or did I say that? Or do I mean to say uh, there's nothing that others have that you cannot have? Yep, because here we are, death and rebirth. You guys have done some type of transformation and change. You're learning that endings are merely beginnings, right? And look at this. We actually have, oh my goodness, Aries. Mother Earth is giving birth to a new you. <laughs> this is why you guys need to ground yourself and, and take care of your health and your body. Nurture your mind, your spirit right now. Because look at the pregnant Mother Earth giving birth to you. And look at this. Boom, here you are. Look at that new life. So I hope you guys are expecting a miracle. There may be something really strong here for some of you Aries with like, major healing with a family situation or at least a release of it so that there is just this pure energy to work from. Uh, what else for Aries? Aries, <clears throat> you guys are being a warrior right now. No wonder Spirit is saying you guys are doing something that is honorable. You wear the honorable badge of a spiritual warrior, Aries, okay? Don't forget this. Don't forget that you're a badass either, okay? Because <laughs> you are, Aries, you're a badass. Ooh, I love it. I love it. What else? <clears throat> Excuse me. Hold the space and be the light. So no matter what is going on, some of you guys, this Envy card, there could be something going on here. Um you know, internal or external conflict, for, but for some, it's like um, arguing, fighting with others, drama, you know, just whatever. Spirit is saying no matter what is going on around you, right, see beyond the current situation, do what you guys got to do to just kind of hold the light within yourself and honor what you guys are knowing and, and seeing that's true for you, especially when it comes to changes, the things that you guys are you know, outgrowing and then growing into, because you are a um, energy of light here. So hold that space, okay? Be like this druid. Hold that space of just awareness, calmness, no matter what. 
right? You're holding the space. Look at the staff. <laughs> Emperor has a staff too, okay? You're a sacred traveler. You're an honorable, uh, honorable uh, spiritual warrior. What else for Aries? Yeah, look, goddess energy. <laughs> Emperor, now, you know, more of this feminine energy. Aries, honor your divine feminine energy, whether you're male or female here. This is about you guys, you know, feeling loved and comforted, uh, doing things that nurture your soul, your spirit, okay, and your body. Make sure that you guys are seeing yourself in, the, you know, in this new way, because a lot of you guys have had a death and rebirth, a transformation of you know yourself here so see that divine uh beauty within you get really good and comfortable with yourself aries because some of you aries are attracting a soulmate a partner here okay um and so you want to love every part of you of yourself here what else integrate your shadow side. Oh, there's something else that wants to come out with this too. Integrate your shadow side, Aries. There can be no light without dark and understand the law of polarity. Yeah, for some of you, Aries, <clears throat> you might have learned or you're still like navigating yourself right now when it comes to, you know, maybe what we see as negative things in our life or in ourselves and the, the beautiful things, right? But, you know, Aries, there just cannot be one without the other here. So a lot of you, Aries, are figuring something out when it comes to um, making energies work well together. And it's giving you guys um, great balance here. And I just see another horse next to you, Aries like a partnership here okay one that's going to run with you in the same direction here right both got that leader quality as well <clears throat> there was a card okay this one this card is for this card so let's see wow yeah <laughs> this is about you guys really truly knowing that you are a spiritual warrior aries okay and you know what to do here some of you guys you're, you're really um, having to navigate yourself or stay strong in a situation because you know something that is really true for you. Don't be afraid to make changes for a lot of you Aries, okay, or um, head into that uh, new direction here because you're right about something, Aries. Spirit is guiding you guys. <clears throat> what else? Be graceful in movement and action. Wow, look at this. We we're just talking about uh, polarity. And look at this um, Knight of Swords, okay? Such a cool Knight of Swords, too. We got that winged um, helmet shield. We got the eagle spirit right in front. <clears throat> and look at this, Aries, right? Uh, be graceful in movement and action, right? There's a lot of power there, but we're, we're not having to move fast. We're moving with, you know, focus, intention, uh, with that spiritual warrior here. Ooh, Aries, you got something strong going on here. See, a lot of you guys are uh, mastering something. You're understanding when to go fast, when to go slow, when to stay still. And when the time is right, you strike and take action. What else? Adversity. <clears throat> Look at that. I was getting that five of wands type of energy here. And also, see, it's like, don't, who cares what's going on around you? You guys just be this light. Stand still if you need to, right? Be calm. Be at peace with yourself. I accept the challenges are the best way to learn. And that's exactly what's happening here. This is why you guys are becoming masterful because you are integrating your shadow and light side and utilizing it for your benefit. Okay, let's see. Well, let's do that. What else for Aries? 
Okay, this one and then this one too. Patience. Pause before you take action. Look at this. So, yeah, Aries, there's something about you guys really being graceful as you move. And those movements are very, uh, could be subtle, but very powerful. Wow. You guys are breaking through barriers. I'm seeing that. Trust that divine timing is at work and be patient and play while you guys wait, right? Do things that make you guys feel loved and comforted here and be willing. Remember, there was this stuff about um, you, Aries, just, you know, not letting your emotions or your fears get the best of you. And look at that. You are safe. I told you, I was telling you, your guardian is watching over you. Fear is an illusion. Set. Oh, you guys. Yes. Look at this. <clears throat> uh, where's the Ari uh, emperor? Don't be afraid to take control of a situation. Assert yourself when you need to. Set strong boundaries. It's important for a foundation, okay? Okay, what else for Aries? Okay, Aries. <laughs> okay. Be willing to do some studying or learning or uh, maybe gain more information or just do something that could get your mind off of things for a little bit for some of you, Aries. But yeah, I feel a lot of you, Aries, you're mastering something in your life. So be willing to study and gain more of what you're doing. Okay. And also, oh gosh, sometimes knowing, knowing it's going to be shitty eases the process. And really what this means is, you know, um, you know, accepting, right? that the challenges are the best way to learn. Well, it's, you know, when you guys know that it's just going to be crappy feeling or that's just how it is, um, it really doesn't have too much power and hold over you, okay? And this is when you guys really see the truth of how powerful and true you are, no matter what. So yeah, there is something that's really uncomfortable right now or that you've gone through, okay? But just hang in there, Aries, because spirit knows you guys are feeling a little bit crappy here. Look. Feel, uh, feel loved and comforted by Mother Earth. What else for Aries? Yeah, take time. Pause before you, um, look at this. Pause before you take action. Aries, be willing to um, wait for the right opportunity or bide your time for better results, okay? Just hang out, hang loose, chill, have fun. Just go with the flow. Remember we were talking about this, like the ebb and flow, and look at how that hangman is like swinging and um, being flexible here. Yeah, you guys are creating prosperity in your life as well, Aries. You know that? What else? medicine woman you are a channel for divine healing power aries yes medicine man medicine woman here so you know be willing to um follow the your inner guidance right now because this is what's uh, guiding you guys into a new direction that's going to benefit you okay and don't question your abilities your talents your gifts okay or your abilities to heal or at least channel divine healing energy and powers Look at this, Aries. We're getting another thing about adventure. You know, just doing things different. Being will, willing to shake things up possibly here, right? Unleash your adventurous side. Take risks and be daring, right? Look at even the hanged man is even being daring here. Because <laughs> look, he's not really, he's not all that tied up, is he? He's just kind of got one leg like hanging with that ribbon. Flexible. Being daring. Doing things different. Seeing things different chilling out maybe let's see what else for Aries no need oh my gosh Aries no need to cling something better is coming and I want to know I was just kind of thinking of that hang man here too so some of you guys yeah you you're just you're at this place of having a rebirth um, make sure, and I do feel that there's something for some of you areas, not, not too strong, but yeah, I feel that there may be something you could be worried about or clinging on to, but remember, 
<laughs> better is coming for you, okay? A better person, better money, more money, increase, whatever. What else for Aries? Discipline, Aries, okay. Okay, Aries, Spirit is saying some of you guys need to just be disciplined right now. And that's that emperor um, energy, actually, you guys uh, being disciplined with yourself um, and taking responsibility for your own well-being right now. Don't let anything or anyone uh, get in, in, in the way of you guys, um, you know, making choices that are good for you, that are healthy for you. Because remember, we had this thing about you guys being strong and courageous and setting strong boundaries delegating if you need to asserting yourself if you need to or communicate honestly if you need to okay there's nothing spirit is saying there's nothing on the outside right now that can overpower you aries you've got the power right now you really do i mean look at this here you are powerful what else for aries Some of you guys are going to have to be disciplined um, to, you know, uh, keep your focus on staying graceful, staying in the moment. Especially when there's a lot of upheavals or changes or conflicts possibly going on with others. Attract success. Nice, Aries. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Auburn and ground yourself mother earth yeah maybe sit next to trees if you can you're attracting success and look at the scarlet uh, type of color he's wearing too maybe like a royal blue here so um yeah be in the energy of scarlet and this color like a red color here um because a lot of you guys you are attracting something new you're attracting new prosperity you're attracting success i mean look at this being in your power aries right being in control, being your boss, or being a boss here, being the boss of your own life. What else for Aries? You are good at helping and counseling and healing children. So use your skills to help children now. Interesting, because we do have like that mother, uh, you know, empress and emperor, uh, excuse me, emperor and empress energy uh, coming through here. So yeah, Aries, some of you guys don't question your abilities to guide, aid, uh, raise children. Okay, because some of you guys, you know, maybe there's like someone um, on your path, um, like a child or, you know, maybe a younger soul here that, uh, you know, that you guys can help guide. Okay. What else uh, for Aries? Aries, don't worry. My goodness. Look at this, Aries. Not only is Mother Earth knowing that you guys need love and to feel the love and feel connected, but heaven's hands are holding you. So you guys have gone through some tremendous um, changes and challenges, haven't you? Look at that. Heaven's hands are holding you. Yeah, raise your hands up and feel heaven's hands holding you. Medicine man, medicine woman here. What else for Aries? Okay, Aries. Just have um, courage right now you, and, and be courageous enough to just drop your expectations and allow something better to happen without clinging on to, um, you know, where is it? Where'd it go? No need to cling. Something better is coming, Aries. Yeah. So drop your expectations, Aries. So Spirit is trying to give you guys something way better than what you guys are holding in your mind or in your energy field. Okay. What else? Okay, Aries, you have a lot of protectors around you, by the way. And now look at this. Your earth guardian angel is coming through. And look, what does it say? Stay rooted and grounded. And look at this. Ground yourself, right? And think of the trees being deeply rooted, right? And no matter what is going on, storms, wind, rain, right? That adversity, that just like the tree, you know, being graceful in movement and action, knowing when, right? Well, actually, you know, the well, tree can't really move, but you know what I'm saying. Just being calm and centered and strong in your spirit here, no matter what is going on. Stay grounded, 
Oh, so stay rooted and grounded. Okay. So this is really important for you, Aries. What else? You're overcoming the past and your future is bright. Be willing to keep moving in the new direction, Aries. Okay, your future is bright. You have nothing to worry about. What else? Because look at this. It is a perfect time for you guys to start new projects. Um, take inspired idea, um, action on ideas when they come. Access new ideas. Give birth to new conditions, right? Because Aries... The new conditions is you guys feeling abundant, love, prosperous, okay? Attracting success, feeling successful. This is why, look, right? We don't need to worry about what others have or whatever's going on that could be challenging here. What else for Aries? Gratitude, Aries, look and trust. I accept that the that your inner voice will always guide you correctly. See, look at that. Be that, you know, hold that space with the druid, white witch. Be the light. You have nothing to worry about. The only thing that's going to challenge you guys is to stay calm, centered during a time where I feel you guys are being challenged. Um, you know, with your surroundings, things going on and changing here, uh, being in a state of having to. Uh, not know what's going to happen, right? The unknown. But be thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Because you guys are getting a beautiful opportunity. So look at this trust. That you guys are going to have a lot of things to be grateful for. So start, you know, honing in this uh, gratitude energy right now. You're going to have a lot of opportunities. More than you guys realize. Okay. So you, some of you may need to change your perspective here on what you believe is possible for you. Uh, what else for Aries? Okay, Aries, we got the seven of cups. Okay, some of you Aries, your dreams are going to come true here and some you're going to have opportunities. Okay, so by dropping your expectations, you are, you're going to allow something better to happen here. So some of you Aries, don't let your finances or losses or what you perceive as failures to confuse you and conflict you or even tempt you, okay, to stay where you're at or to, you know, maybe for some you're going to have to be careful and use discernment and, and really focus on your own dreams, okay, your own values, Have patience, Aries, right? No need to cling. Something better is coming. We've got five of pentacles here with the seven of cups. I want a little bit more with this as well. We've got a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's get a little bit more about this situation here. Yeah, I feel a lot of you guys have had a situation where, you know, <clears throat> with that five of um, pentacles, we've had a loss or we're just feeling, you know, separated or abandoned by a situation or people are just, or, or I should say unsupported here. Just choose to focus on the lighter side of life, okay? <clears throat> and start dreaming again. Start using your imagination for the good. And just choose to focus on the lighter side of life. And maybe just laugh at yourself, okay? Or others right now. <laughs> Let's see. You guys are, you got some type of gift that's coming here in unexpected ways, okay? Or maybe for some of you guys, it will just be some type of maybe financial break for you. What else for Aries? Aries, you, you completed some, Ooh, you, okay. This is what you guys are completing. So you guys have, some of you Aries have already done this. Some of you guys, you're in the middle of this and it's, it's happening. You're releasing your past life karma 
because you're an old soul. I mean, look at that, <laughs> the druid and the white witch. You're an old soul with deep wisdom and you're healing your past lives, okay? And it's raising your vibration, Aries. So spirit is saying, you guys need to celebrate this. This is a big deal. A positive outcome is assured, so don't worry. Celebrate your success, right? Getting playful, doing things, uh, being adventurous, changing up something in one's life right now. Enjoy your ach achievements, Aries. Enjoy your achievements, okay? Take time to enjoy those achievements. Okay, and you might as well because we're at this hangman position anyways, right? We're hanging out, having fun, hanging loose, <laughs> whatever. What else for Aries? Okay, Aries, look at this. Enjoy uh, uh, the bounty of life. We're getting this Empress energy, the fertility here, that pro uh, prosperity card, and now we got abundance. Blessings are coming to you. Your supply is unlimited, Aries, okay? So, you know, there's that thing about releasing or not clinging on to the old, okay? Or even clinging on to money worries, okay? Blessings are coming to you. Think abundantly. What else for Aries? Yeah, Aries, you're a magical person. You're manifesting and you can manifest your clear intentions into reality, okay? So we've got the sorceress here, right? You're attracting success. You're attracting abundance, okay? Pay attention to, you know, what you're channeling right now because you are a channel for divine healing power. Aries, you guys are attracting some type of success, that's really key on your path here. I'm seeing you guys celebrate like big time and coming into, you know, a time period to just kind of have fun and enjoy your life, right? Not having to struggle so much or feel that. What else for Aries? Imagination. Oh my goodness. Okay. Aries, look at this. Seven of Cups, imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Okay, don't let it confuse you. But start dreaming for some of you. Or, you know, ask your uh, angels, spirit, to help you figure out what you want to focus on, right? Get creative because there's more than enough opportunities headed your way. What else for Aries? Innocence. Take time to play. This is, a, again, it's coming about you guys hanging out, playing, chilling, nurture your inner child, and live with childlike sense of wonder. You know, Aries, um, I, yeah, I was getting the fool's card earlier. So Spirit is saying you guys don't need to hang on to feeling bad or guilty, worried, uh, regret. You know, you don't need to feel anything that is burdening you mentally, emotionally, and physically. Release it, okay? This is about you guys, you know, doing what you guys know to do here, right? To honor your innocence, to honor a time period where Spirit wants you guys to just be gentle with yourself and have fun. And that's going to help a lot of you guys um, manifest your intentions quickly. What else? Okay, that's it for those. So let's find out how spirit is helping you, Aries. How is spirit helping Aries? <laughs> Enjoy clear, oh, clear hearing. Ooh, now, not all of you, but some of you, Aries, if there's anything going on with your ears, you're getting healed with that. Um, but yes, you guys are hearing spirit, okay? Um, and being calm too. So enjoy clear hearing, right? Where you guys can feel loved and comforted. Where you guys are clear. Your energy is clear. We can hear. Let's get one more too for how spirit's helping you, Aries. How else is spirit helping Aries? Oh my gosh. 
okay spirit is helping you guys have patience and also to be silent right now some of you guys just uh, patience and silence is your ally at this time so spirit's helping you guys um, have complete trust in the process as well okay and remember we even have that card of trust here right so just count your blessings and then continue to count them that's going to help you guys and also communicate to the universe that you do trust okay so have complete trust in the universe uh, and God, Jesus, yourself right now, the process, right? See beyond the current search, uh, situation because Spirit is helping you guys um, with things in your environment so that you guys can have more confidence in trusting this process that's going on. So be easy with yourself. Go have fun, Aries. Do things that make you guys feel excited, okay? I hope that was helpful. Love and light. Take care.